in, in such circumstances, if, if you don't at least speak out clearly, and you, you are participating to, to the genocide. I mean, if you just shut up when you see what you see, I mean, morally, ethically, you cannot shut up. It's responsibility to, to talk, to speak out. Yeah. A Rwandan human rights activist traveled to Washington. She'd been smuggled out of Kigali after a harrowing ordeal. Monique Mujawa Maria came to tell American officials what was happening in her country and ask for stronger U.S. action. The first person who I met when I arrived in the United States was Anthony Lake, who at the time was National Security Advisor. I will always remember him. He was very pleased to see me. Well, I met with Monique and was moved and terrified uh, for her by her story of barely escaping, uh, hiding in the attic for a while, and then uh, getting out. I think he was personally affected by what was happening in Rwanda. But as a government official, he was not ready to take action. He didn't want to. And it's not that I didn't care. It's that any caring wasn't translated into any focus, any attention, really. On something like this, it would have taken quite a push. And there's no question in my mind that in the end, the president would have had to push it. A congressional official responsible for Africa gave me an explanation which was discouraging but also enlightening. He said, listen, Monique, the United States has no friends. The United States has interests. And in the United States, there is no interest in Rwanda. And we are not interested in sending young American Marines to bring them back in coffins. We have no incentive. As Monique lobbied Washington, America and the entire UN Security Council voted to withdraw 90% of the peacekeepers in Rwanda. This was the compromise Madeleine Albright had argued for. At least a token force was allowed to remain. It was, a, it was a very, very difficult time, and the situation was unclear. You know, in retrospect, it all looks very clear, but when you were at the time, uh, when it was unclear about what was happening in Rwanda, uh, it was very clear that Congress was not supportive of additional peacekeepers, very clear that the Pentagon uh, was not interested in getting deeply involved. What was your gut feeling about the effectiveness of, the, of that force that was being left behind? Well, I think that my gut feeling was that it couldn't do what it had to do. It was like the world had disappeared out there. The world just didn't care. Uh, and it made no difference what you said or how you said it to them. We could have packed up dead bodies, put them on a herd, flown to New York, walked into the Security Council and dumped them on the floor in front of the Security Council. And all that would have happened was we would have been charged for illegally using a UN aircraft. Um, uh, they just didn't want to do anything. 